on our first day, we were very excited and I remember asking how many anacondas are we going to see and um, it was a very apprehensive answer and rightly so. I've now understood this because we sort of get spoilt and we just assume that this whole world is our backyard and these predators are just sitting there waiting for us to see them. But the truth is you only see them a few times and that makes the situations that much more special. But more importantly, it teaches you about how hard it is to be in a scenario where you can see these amazing animals. And so you learn you do not take it for granted. The only way you can become successful and find these animals is to fully immerse yourself. As much as I'd like to think Florian and I are experts at everything, the truth is we're not. You need an individual by the name of Danielle and an individual by the name of Yuka. Um, they see the smallest sort of movement, something that none of us can catch. There were scenarios, we were on a boat, there was a ladder that was literally tied to this boat and Danielle who was leading us around on this river was standing on it and you have me and Florian sitting back there wondering when it's going to topple but there's no better way to actually find something that's just how it is and and if we didn't have them frankly the whole time we'd be very lost And from then on, it's basically just searching for anacondas and fingers crossed, hoping for the best. I was low, very low the night I set out searching for the girl with the strange hazel eyes. You're looking in the middle of a tree that's underwater and you see this gigantic snake just hanging out there. It's almost impossible to spot something like this. It's a very surreal feeling to have a snake, something I've been terrified of all, all my life, just staring me. And I'm just as guilty when you would think anacondas, oh God, it's like a man killer, it's dangerous. But before I could just run away if I saw a snake and ask someone else to take care of it. But here you really don't want to leave. You have this immense sort of gratitude in knowing that I've shared this special moment with this enormous anaconda. Calling it the hazel eyes is perfect. It brings this romantic side. Having a moment where you can sit there and just watch her, let her do her thing, enjoying the moment. It's all part of this relationship and I think it's a very complicated relationship that you have to earn. Take a look into my eyes and see the fire that burns slow Put your hands upon my face and promise me you'll never let go Falling down into the depths of my heart, touching my soul I'm only half alive without you, you're the other half that makes me whole Some have tried to tell me in this world there simply are no guarantees 
spent seven days looking for anacondas and it, it's very eye-opening. Not many people can have these sort of interactions and so it might be the only time ever in my life that I'll see it and a lot of other people might never see it and so it's an opportunity you just don't say no to. <laughs>